Hey, what's up, tubers? This is the SHTF Hunter. We're making a video here today that I've been meaning to make for a few weeks. Uh, the, I'm actually kind of making it for the black dissident. Uh, he's wanting to make a backyard shooting range, and, and he wants some ideas. So I thought I'd show him my little shooting range, and uh, also my viewers. Uh, maybe give. Oh, we'll start back here at the back stop. Uh, the back in here is it looks like mostly woods, but there's actually a like a road bed you can see right there. And sometimes a farmer comes through here, and also cattle come through here. And the back stop right now is probably only about four foot tall high. I've been wanting to build it a little bit higher, so I hadn't really built no permanent uh, target stands. Um, this is a this little target right here is just a pistol target. It, it can't sustain rifle hits. Uh, it's made out of just regular metal, but anyway, made that at work. Uh, and this one right here is AR-500 steel plate. I think it's like 10 inch. Uh, I have three of these and they're made out of like green T post. You can get it uh, tractor supply, roll king, some of your farm supplies. Uh, Cheap, probably the cheapest metal you can get probably for making target stand. Um, and over here is the IDPA style stand. Uh, these are pretty simple to make also. You just got a four by four at the bottom and two by fours on each side. And then you got tomato steaks. Tomato steaks are fairly cheap, or, or they used to be uh, with the Biden inflation. I don't know how much a tomato steak costs now. These, used, these steaks used to cost about $2 a piece. Uh, but they get shot or broke up, you just just replace them. So, <laughs> so you, like I say, I don't have a permanent a permanent target stand right now. A lot of times I use these to zero guns. And sometimes I use these. But uh, I keep I keep a couple, of one or, I, I usually keep one of these and one of these in my little white truck also. I actually have three. I have three of these and I have three of those. I actually keep one of each in my white truck just in case I'm going somewhere. I can kind of set up my own range where I go. And uh, I used to use uh, wood, uh, 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 rod and gun clubs shooting range. It's only five minutes away, but it, uh, a lot of times, I, you know, you run into people and it just, I don't know, it's just kind of aggravating. I want to build my own. And, uh, my brother-in-law, actually, that dirt mound, I, this is on the side of a hill. My brother-in-law pushed up that dirt mound from here using this. We're going to go back here to my pistol bench. I got, I use broken arrows for markers. That's 10 yards. And there's the 20 yard. I put the bench at 15. You know, that's pretty decent. Uh pistol shot and i built this out of scrap wood so this like everything all the other legs is four before and this is like a i don't know three before or something i don't know but i, I built this little bench so you can just like lay your pistol or your ammunition on and uh it's kind of uh, since this is on the hillside these two legs are actually shorter i dug holes to heap you know it's leveled off and so that's kind of what it looks like if you're shooting a pistol from here. So I'll take you back to my 50 yard bench. Now you could actually go back to the, from right here, like the last level place is like about 25 yards. So about 25 yard shot, cause that's a 20 yard arrow. And then it, this is my backyard and I live on the hillside. <laughs> kind of got to make the best of what you got all right this is my shooting wall and this is at 50 yards and i built it out of uh, some tongue and groove board i had laying around so i pushed the tongue and grooves together and then of course you have to use big pieces to hold the tongue and groove together um 
I, I may someday put braces right here to make it more stable shooting position. I don't use it. I usually don't use it for what it's meant for. I usually lean a gun against it, help rest to zero or rifle at 50 before I go back to 100. But <laughs> so there's my shooting wall that doesn't get used properly. Uh, I try to the military in the mil the army we actually use one of these now and i think this right here would be like a foot just like a footer off the ground and you can use in the military you'd use that one then it comes over here i didn't actually use the right the dimensions the military had but anyway so yeah like the military used this for qualification i didn't know if y'all knew that or not uh I actually thought about making a video one day to show you our new qualification, but back here, I, used to, I built a sled out of a two, well, I think it's like two by 12, and I got some old uh, wheel rotors in here to give it weight. These rotors probably weigh in at like 85, 90 pounds, and you know, sleds, so all together it's probably 90 to 100 pounds worth of weight and uh then i got a piece of railroad tie i need a bigger piece of railroad tie but uh, i got this stuff here so i can you know exercise and pra practice for tactical games in the future and uh, but yeah so i just built this stuff and i need a heavier railroad tie it's pretty old and it's not very very heavy for me but what I'd do, I'd tote, and hopefully I can get somebody follow me around with a video or with my camera and show you this. But I tote this around down to the pistol range, fire the pistol down the hill by the pond, and I circle back up here and I drop it like fire. Then I pick up my sled, drag it down there to the 100 yard bench, and back. Or 95 yard bench, but we'll walk back here <laughs> down. I built this. I built this bench about uh, about two or three weeks ago. I actually took a couple of days off work to turkey hunt. One of my goals while I was off turkey hunting was to build this bench. It's actually 95 yards to the berm, but uh, what can I say about this bench? Oh yeah, it's it's five foot long by four feet over here. So it's like five by four. Uh, I use decking boards to make it the top. So I got decking boards and down here, I run a two by four off this leg on both sides. So I'll show you here. There's two by four and it runs across. It's got like a two by eight on there. And this is like a piece of uh, lawn fur, old lawn furniture cushion they dry pretty fast after they get wet so from here you got about a 95 yard shot which is close enough so. <laughs> all right this is the shtf hunter and i hope this helped you some black dissonant and i'm out